What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Max Mayfield from Stranger Things. Let's begin today's lesson by establishing the size of our portrait. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So start at the very top. Just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now we don't wanna go too dark because we'll eventually wanna erase this out. Now we're gonna add another guideline going across from left to right in the center. So we'll start with the left side. Just extend this out go all the way across towards the right. Now I'm going to use these guidelines to help us create a circle. From the center, let's go all the way up towards the top. I'm just going to mark this off with a line. Now I want to take that same distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's do the same thing across this horizontal line. Taking this distance over towards the left, marking that off, and then do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to use each of these marks to help us create our circle. So we're going to connect the top to the left side with a curve. I'm just going to round this out, come down. Now these curves don't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and location on our page. We can always go back and just readjust this and smooth it out. Now just stepping back, go back and just readjust the bottom. Just taking out that sharp point and smoothing that out. Now with our circle in place, let's add some more guidelines. From the side of our circle, sketch a line coming down on the left, and then the right side. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle towards the left and right. And then we'll do the same thing across the top. Now we're gonna place the center of the eyes along the center line, but we're gonna add a gap in between. So from this center point, let's move over towards the left we draw a straight line coming down and then up towards the top. And I'll take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from this point, we're going to step over towards the left, sketch out a circle for the iris, and take that same distance over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's go back to the inside point. We're going to draw the top of the eyelid. We're going to go up towards the top of the iris and then back down towards the side. And we'll draw the bottom of the eyelid, coming down and then back up on the inside. Let's go halfway between that center line and the bottom of our circle. So right here, just gonna mark this off for the nose. And then in the center, we're just gonna sketch out a small circle for the tip of the nose. And then on the side, I'm just gonna round this out and then pull that back in. Let's go back down to the bottom of our circle. From these two points, we're just gonna curve the mouth going up and then down. Let's move up and draw a curve coming down and then up for the upper lip. And then the mouth going out and then down toward the side. And let's curve the bottom lip, coming down and then back up. Now from the bottom of the lip, let's step down. We're just gonna mark off the chin somewhere around here. Draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and just add a guideline for the eyebrows. From the inside corner of the eye, let's step up. We're gonna curve this up and then down towards the side. Line that up on the right and do the same thing. Once we have the rough sketch of the face, let's move off to the side and add some shape to the head. We'll start from the side of our circle. I'm just going to bend the head coming down and then in towards that mouth line on either side. And then from the jaw, let's curve this down and then in towards the chin. Let's place the ears along the side of the head, starting from this point. I'm just going to curve this around and just bend that back in towards the side of the head. I'll we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's use the top half of the circle as the edge of the hairline. So in the center, I'm just gonna mark this off with a straight line going up towards the top of the head. And I'll draw the edge of the hair. It's gonna go around, just tracing the head coming around the side, and then in on top of the ear. And then we'll do the same thing on the right, going all the way around and then down. 
From the jaw we want to step in, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. Let's go back up to the top of the neck, step down and slope the shoulders, coming down and out. I'm going to pull the hair out towards the side, coming down towards two braids underneath the ears. So let's start on the left side, underneath the ear, bend this around, come down and in towards the bottom. Go to the right side and do the same thing, coming around and then bending that in. Let's sketch out the inside of the braid, starting from the jaw. We're just going to follow that same curve, coming around and then in. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Once we have our clean rough sketch in place, it's time to add a second level of detail by refining the shape. Let's start with the eyes. Start from the inside, add a little bit more shape along the top of the eyelid, and just slope that down towards the side. Work our way across the bottom. Also adding a little bit of the tear duct on the inside. And I'm just going to add that double eyelid along the top of the eye. Just tracing out the outside of the iris. I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight on the top right side of the eyes and sketch out a smaller circle in the center of the pupil and just lightly darken that in. I'm just going to move to the side edge of my pencil and add a fold underneath the eyes. Now I'm going to move up and add a little bit more shape to the eyebrows. I'm just roughing this in. We don't want to get too detailed. Come back and do that after. And now we're going to move down and start adding some detail and shape to the nose. Starting with the center, going out towards the nostrils. side. I'm noticing that the lip is a little bit too low, so we're just going to raise that up. Bring that up towards the top. And just following that same shape coming down towards the corner of the mouth. Go back and just erase the original mouth. Now we're just going to refine the shape of the head. Also bring the chin up a little bit higher. You can see that I'm staying in this rough stage as we go. I'm trying not to get too detailed at this stage. I just want to get the right shape and proportions.
Once we're happy with our rough sketch, it's time to go in and start darkening up the contrast. So again, I'm gonna go back to the eyes, just work our way around. So darkening up the center of the pupil, going around that highlight. Once we complete the eyes, we're going to move up and add some texture to the eyebrows. Move to the side edge of our pencil and add some shading around the eyes and the side of the nose. I'm just going to darken up the upper lip, all the way across, and a little bit more shading along the sides.
And now we're going to go back and continue to refine the shape of the head. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a highlight on the top right side of the head. Adding some darker shadow on the left. shade to the inside of the neck and then the head's going to cast a darker shadow along the top so we'll just soften that up as we come down and also leaning the shadow over towards the left side Now we're going to go back to the side edge of our pencil and add some volume and shadow to the hair. So we'll start on the inside and then from the center just pulling this hair out and down. I'm just going to go a little bit lighter as we go up toward the top to create a bit of a highlight. I'm going to use the tip of a pencil to add some more fine detail. I'm going to stay with the side edge of our pencil and add some volume to those braids. Just getting in the darkness, working from the sides and coming in toward the center. Again, just going back to the temper pencil and adding some detail to the braids.
Now as you get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Max Mayfield. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to continue to draw with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.